Hello everyone. Now let us go to the next concept, which is the binomial model. Friends, first I'll tell you the formula, then I'll tell you the logic. The formula of this goes like this: the value of a call is equal to C U into sorry C U into I minus D divided by U minus D plus C D into U minus I divided by U minus D whole divided by I. Now tell me, is this formula easy or tough? Friends, this formula looks tough, but it's very easy with logic. I will explain to you how is that. First, let us understand the meaning of the words. C U means call up. C D means call down. What it is also you will understand very soon. Then I had I. I means one plus the interest rate. All right. We had U, which is the proportion of up spot price to the spot price. D means the proportion of down spot price to the spot price let us first put the numbers and then we will see how we are getting the answer i'll go with the same example what we had earlier spot price was 100 standard deviation was 20 which means the price could either become 120 or the price could become how much 80 we had rf of 10 percentage exercise price was 110 all right and uh, this is from which we had to find out the premium all right so let me take a fresh page now the formula i'll repeat once again cu into i minus d divided by u minus d plus cd into u minus i divided by u minus d oh, sorry Friends, I'll just put up the same thing once again. All right. So I'll put the formula once again over here so that. you get clarity on what we did the formula would be cu into i minus d divided by u minus d plus cd into u minus i divided by u minus d whole divided by i am i right so if this is the formula cu as i told you is nothing but call up so call up means what is the price that you will get if the price goes up it is 120 minus we have an excise price of 110 so if the price goes up i will exercise i will get 10 call down i will be lapsing the option if the price comes down to 80 and cd will be 0 i will be 1 plus 10 percentage which is nothing but 1.1 u is the proportion of the up price that is 120 divided by 100 i will call it as 1.2 Similarly d is the proportion of the down price that is 80 divided by 100 which is equal to 0.80 all right so i think we have got all the things over here now let us put the formula once again cu if the price goes up it is going to be not 20 it is going to be 10 because let me just check what i have written here yes it is going to be 10 cu is going to be 10 into i minus d one minute friends yes it's going to be i minus d that is 1.1 minus the down spa i think we got the answer as it was 80 divided by 100 that is 0.8 
divided by u minus d u minus d will be nothing but 1.2 minus 0.8 plus c d is 0 into i know 0 will be give you 0 but still let's do it 0 into u minus i so 1 minus 1.2 minus 1.1 divided by u minus d whole divided by what 1.1 so friends that is 10 into this will be 0.3 divided by 0.4 can i call 0.3 by 0.4 okay plus here it will be 0 into 0.1 by 0.4 whole divided by 1.1 that will be 7.5 that will be 6.84 let's just cross check with the calculator yes it is going to be 7.5 divided by 1.1 6.81 all right so this is going to be 6.81 friends are you familiar with this answer? This is exactly the same answer what we got earlier in this neutral model also. How did that answer tally with this answer? Friends, I will explain the logic to you now. Listen very, very carefully. If you look over here, I will use a reading pen now. If you look over here, can I say 0 0.3 pi 0 0.4 is nothing but 0 0.75 that is nothing but 75 percentage and is this not something which is 25 percentage are you familiar with 75 and 25 friends these are the probabilities what we got under risk neutral model using a big formula where we use 10 is equal to 20p plus minus 20 into 1 minus p here we don't have to use any such formula we get the same answer over here by just using this shortcut formula that i just used over here friends or let me put it in a different way do you see that here it is u minus d here also u minus d so can i see the denominator is common on top it is i minus d and u minus i so can i say i and i will get cancelled so can i say that is nothing but u minus d divided by u minus d that is nothing but one which is nothing but hundred percentage or friends what i'm trying to say is this plus this will always give you the answer as how much percentage hundred percentage now just to remember this whole formula we'll use a simple technique i minus d divided by u minus d we won't remember so we'll just repeat we'll call it as i d u d everyone repeat with me i d u d i d u d i d u d i d u d i d u d and the other one is what u i u d u i u d u i u d u i u d u i u d now come on repeat the whole formula with me with your common sense c u into i d u d plus c d into u i u d whole divided by i with this we are done with the logic of binomial model friends thank you so much